Hello students, welcome to today's tutorial. So this tutorial was very like ton of requests for this tutorial. So today I'm gonna release it to you and show you all the secrets behind those animations. Let's roll! So first thing to do is to insert the four pictures. So I'm gonna insert four pictures from my device that I download them from the famous website in Splash. You can find the link in the description box. So this is the first picture. I'm gonna give it the same ratio as the frame slide if you want. So to do that, let's go to crop and crop it as the slide so this is the first method to do it for the second method i'll bring the picture right there then go to crop then choose aspect ratio 16 9 so 16 9 ratio is the same as the slide so I'll make sure that it's the same size and it is. So let's scale it down as its friend right there. Then take care of the rest. So I'll use the second method because it's pretty easy and precise. Uh, sorry, not the 1610, but the 169. Perfect. Let's scale it down as well and put it aside. So, about the final one, let's repeat the same process 16, 9, and I always make sure this don't mind me. And scale it down, put it with its friends. So, the pictures are ready. Now I'm gonna round the edges. So to be able to do that, I'm gonna go to crop again, then crop to shape, then choose that rectangle with rounded corners. I repeat the same thing with the others. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see it closely. So I'm gonna repeat the same process as I said for the rest of the pictures. So from here I'll speed it up a little bit. Now all four pictures are ready, so let's place them in the middle like that and incline them a little bit. The third one and the fourth, let's incline it like that, and this one too. And let's decline this one a little bit like that. So. With that, they are ready. Let's put them side by side like that. Adjust the position. Nice. Now let's add the title of this slide. Let's go to insert text box, then click on the slide, then tap the word gallery. I'll name it gallery like that so i'll change the font type to vintage culture then increase its size so it will be visible as a big title right so i'm gonna add a line at the background of this slide so let's go to shapes then curves 
and let's draw our curved line nice let's send it to back then go to shape outline and change the width to three points then add dashes like that so let's preview it i think it needs some adjustments the title is a bit smaller let's make it bigger and reposition the pictures so let's change the size of the title to a greater number than c so i think the pictures needs to go down a little bit and perfect so let's try to choose a color for the line and the gallery title so let's select first the line and i'm gonna pick a color with the eyedropper from that picture nice so let's apply the same color to the title so the design of this slide is nearly done and we need to add a one more detail i'll add a circle at the bottom of this slide right there then change its color to the same as the line and make those smaller because of the circle then I remove the outlines and change the color to our picked color nice so now since we finished the first slide let's duplicate it and move to the design of the second one let's move the title out of frame right there then straight up those pictures like that and try to put them near each other as i'm doing here nice so i insert a rounded corner rectangle and put it at the middle of those pictures or the middle of the slide right there and i'll get rid of the outlines and change its color to a white color with a minimum of gray I will differentiate it from the background I'll do some adjustments here they are not necessary you can do them or you can choose the positions you want so I'll try to add a shadow to this white rectangle so we'll enforce its visibility on the white background perfect now i'm gonna add a title to that rectangle and let's call it mountains then change its font type and its size like usual i'll try to add Montserrat font nice so i'm gonna copy it by holding control and drag then make it smaller then here i'll try to add a default text but in your case you can add your own text or the text related to your presentation nice i'll make it a little bit smaller and 
like that perfect and uh, i'll try to make the title uh, to a different color and a bold so from here i'll try to show you the first result of the animation with that let's add a morph transition so before we do that i'm gonna adjust the elements on this slide so i will move them a little bit to the top like that then move that circle down so i'll add a morph transition and the duration 2.75 and see the result nice so now let's move to the next slide let's duplicate the second one then move those pictures out of frame and leave just one picture inside frame after that cover all the slide with it then i'll try to move that rounded corner rectangle to the side so i select them and click on shift then click on the circle so to deselect it and move the rectangle right there so i'll try to find a good position for that rectangle what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make those slide previews bigger at the side without going to preview it at the full screen so we can see the edit on those we can call them mini slides so now we are finished with the position of that rectangle let's add a title which is the name of the place that those mountains are for this one it's switzerland i'll increase its size and change the font to montserrat for sure great and what's rest is to align it let's go to shape format align then align it uh, to the center as the circle perfect so this is about the design of the second slide let's move to the fourth slide which will be the same but without this picture we we'll replace it with another picture like that i just forgot to duplicate so i return back and duplicate it well anyway let's go back to our design here i'm gonna change the color of that title into white so it will be visible in that picture then change its name to california usa because this place is situated in california United States of America. Nice. Let's center it by the alignment tool. Then change the color of that circle into white. So it will be visible. Lovely jubbly. So let's move to the fifth slide with duplicating the fourth one and repeat the same process which is moving the first picture out of frame then replace it with another one nice change the name to norway because this place is situated in norway perfect so let's duplicate this one too then change the picture with the last one which is situated in iceland what a good place or what a beautiful place gorgeous i really like iceland geography anyway what's rest now is to apply the morph transition to all of those slides so let's tap on Control a so we can select all of them then go to transition then morph I will change the timing to one second on our slides then roll a test here 
So this is the first slide, the second one, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. So as you can see, it's an easy animation to do, but I'll add one more detail at the end. So I'll duplicate this slide, then add it at the end of that queue. So let's roll another test. As you can see, the animation is really smooth. And ta-da! So this is it students about our uh, today's tutorial. I hope you liked it and uh, I'm sure you will do. As requested, I did it for you. But I have another option for you if you want like a ready template. So you don't have to do all of this work because it's not like a hard work, just easy following those steps. But if you don't have the time, you will find the template for this presentation ready for you to use. I will leave you the link on the description box. And with that, I hope you a good end of the day or the beginning of the day. I don't know where you live, but stay safe and stay creative.